What up, peeps? It's your boy, Heck is Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Today, this video is not really going to be like funny or anything. Uh, at least I don't think it will be. But I just want to show you how Phoenix Resale compares to other resellers. And it's pretty horrible. What we're going to do is we're going to see how many games we can buy for 500 bucks from Phoenix Resale versus what we can get off of resellers on eBay. Now, I'm not actually buying any of these games i just want to show you how many more games you can get i pulled up super mario galaxy here so this is the first one that pops up this is retro refresh so that's not that's not caleb you actually have to come down here and click and then he's like not even in the top five choices okay alliance refurbs let's see where the hell is that bam right there so like what was that like the sixth option Let's go ahead and we'll add that to the cart. So he's selling it for $32.99. Now let's go over to eBay. All right, so here we've got it for $18.99. Very good condition. 99.3% positive feedback. So we're already like $15 cheaper on the, uh, just buying from the reseller. You know, and like thinking about resellers and stuff, you know, we don't, we don't like those prices either, but I mean, if you got to compare fire to lava, I mean, I guess you'd rather be burned by fire than, you know, sticking your hand in lava. Let's move on to another. Let's go to Wii Sports Resort here. All right, so he's selling Wii Sports Resort for $57.77, so $60. I don't even think this game was even $60 when it came out. Now, I'm trying to pick at least very good or excellent or like new condition. Uh, I mean, here here's the first result here. $29.99 with free shipping, 100% positive feedback. What's the condition, though? Good condition. All right, so let's see if we can find just a slightly better one. Okay, here we go. We got 100% positive feedback, 140 sales, 28.99. Very good condition. So yeah, we'll go ahead and pop that in. Now we do have to pay shipping on that one, and we will we will account for the shipping because you know most of Caleb's stuff is uh, covered by Prime, so there's no shipping there. But right now his card is at $90.76 before taxes, and uh, we're at 53.93 before taxes including the shipping on the ebay so all right next up let's let's try this 360 copy of minecraft so he's selling this thing for 38.82 oh he's got 14 copies of it though you know but you know he's not really affecting the market right you know just 14 copies and we've got 16.99 very good condition 100 percent positive feedback out of 52 sales bam if you're keeping up with the numbers right now we're at 130 dollars on amazon with caleb and $71 on eBay. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything that he's not upcharging people for. So here's Call of Duty Black Ops for $25.88. Let's go ahead and add that to the cart. And then over here we've got Call of Duty Black Ops. It says brand new, but I mean, clearly the guy opened it. But I mean, still $18.99, free shipping, 97.3% positive feedback out of 173 sales. I mean, that was more close. It was like 30 or $26 versus 19, but still, I mean, that's still an upcharge. So guys, when you, when you think about it, <clears throat> he's got all these resellers. I know he has at least a hundred of them or close to a hundred that send him games. So just think about the fact that these guys, I mean, and you've seen the videos of his on uh, the secondary channel where he's like, you know, getting 30 copies of the same game sent to him from, you know, a reseller. So he's got that happening pretty consistently. And, uh, you know, all of his content now is just focused on showing you how easy it is to sell him games because he wants you <clears throat> to be enti you know, enticed into selling directly to him so that he can keep them all you know, in his space, but you know, that's, that's hundreds and hundreds of games that have now been taken away from eBay. So like, even if you're trying to buy from resellers on eBay, you know, they may charge more money now because there's less stock coming in, uh, on eBay because m a lot of it is going to Caleb. So overall, it's just bad for everybody. Here we go. We got Pokemon blue for $102. And obviously, um, this is just the game only, even though it shows the box. And then here we've got it for $59.99, very good condition, 99.6% positive feedback. Uh, so, you know, man, I don't really even need to go to $500, like how many games you can get for $500. 
I mean, like, look at this. You know, I'm so, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it off camera. All right, guys. So the games I added off screen were Halo 2, Super Mario Sunshine, NCAA Football 13, Phantom Hour Hourglass, Grand Theft Auto 4 for the 360. That totals up to 480.85. Uh, so I imagine with tax and stuff, that'll be 500 or around it. Uh, and that's 10 games. So we're looking at 10 games from Caleb for $500. I didn't even pick the cheapest options over on eBay, but I made sure they were all at least very good condition. And uh, we're looking at $308.47 and Black Ops is brand new. Well, I mean, like I said, it's not really brand new because it's open, but still, I mean, we're, we're talking about a two, almost a $200 difference here buying from Phoenix resale. So, but, but that's not even the thing that's crazy about it. Because when you look on Amazon, like if I type in Grand Theft Auto 4, see like when I typed in Grand Theft Auto 4 and went to the renewed listing, uh, the first one that pops up is Retro Refresh. So I mean, most of the time when you type in a game, it doesn't even pull up his listing first. So how are you telling me that he is selling $3 million in games in the past three years when he's not even like the first choice I don't even think he's the first five choices. Let's see. I mean, look, he was like the sixth or seventh choice here. So I don't know, man. I, I, I really want to see proof in the books that he's selling that much. Um, I really feel like he's stretching the truth. I mean, hell, even in the video, he said he sold three million. It really was like 2.5, you know? So, I mean, if he's lying about that to make a better title for his video then, I mean, he could just be lying about the shit altogether. But yeah, hopefully this uh, is educational, informs people of the shittery that he has going on. And uh, clearly, I mean, how how can you make so much money off of video games on Amazon when you're not even the first five options? Oh, and just for shits and giggles, I went ahead and added it up on DK Oldies to see. And uh, they only had eight of the ten games. They only had game only for Minecraft, but it was a four dollar difference. So I added that into the calculations. They didn't have um, two games, but uh, I think it was NCAA 13 and then one other. But I added it up, and it would be four hundred and thirty three dollars and ninety cents if they did have it. So even DK Odie's is cheaper to buy from than Phoenix Resale on Amazon. And you get a one-year warranty on everything on DK Oldies and free shipping. Uh, so, I mean, you can't even calculate that into it. But, yeah, I mean, we're looking at a significant upcharge from Phoenix Resale. It's horrible if you're a reseller that sells directly to Caleb. I know that he makes you a lot of money and stuff, but this is horrible. And you should not support somebody that's willing to screw over a hobby like this but yeah guys as always thanks so much for watching catch you in the next one